In this video, we will discuss the laws of mechanics. Laws of mechanics include parallelogram law, Newton's law of motion, and the gravitational law of attraction. As laws of mechanics deal with forces, we need to know what is force. Generally force is stated as push or pull upon an object. But it doesn't explain about force entirely. Let's ask a question. A ball, lying on the ground at rest, is there any force acting on it? Yes, there is a gravitational force that pulls the ball towards the center of the earth. And ground is applying equal force exactly in the opposite direction, called as a normal force. As these two forces are balanced, the net force acting on the ball is zero. So, the position of an object doesn't change. Hence, just pushing or pulling is not the only kind of force. And just because there are forces acting on an object, it doesn't imply that the object is in motion. There should be some net force for the object to move. If a person kicks the ball, the position of the ball changes due to applied force acting on it. After covering some distance the ball stops. If there is no force from other side, how did it stop? Was there a force which stopped it? Yes, it was frictional force that stopped the ball. If you consider a frictionless floor, with no air resistance, then for a body moving with constant velocity, the forces acting on it are gravitational force and normal force, but the net force on the body is zero. Now, will the ball ever stop moving? No, it will continue with the same velocity, unless, there is other external force acting on it. But we assume that if the body is moving, then there is some net force acting on it, which is not true. Hence we understood that. If the body is stationary, don't think there is no force on it. And if the body is moving with uniform velocity, don't think there is some net force acting on it. So, force can be explained as, a push or pull upon an object, resulting from its interaction, with another object. If we place a box, on a surface which is slant, two forces act on the box, one is gravitational force that pulls the box down, and the other is frictional force that acts against the pull. Here, frictional force is a contact force, whereas gravitational force is without contact. For closing or opening a gate, we need to apply force, as per the requirement, that tells the direction. And, based on the point of application, the magnitude required will change. Force is characterized by its magnitude, direction and point of application. As the force is having direction, it is a vector quantity. If the forces are pointed in different directions. To get the resultant force, we use the parallelogram law of vector addition. Let us consider two forces P and Q acting on a particle O. The force P is represented as vector OA, whereas the force Q is represented as vector OB. Now, form a parallelogram using OA and OB. The resultant of these two forces will be obtained by the diagonal of the parallelogram, of which OA and OB are two adjacent sides. The resultant R is represented by OC in magnitude and direction. Magnitude of R is given by. In this video, we have discussed about force and parallelogram law in laws of mechanics.